клетку. М? Давай, в коробку спать пора. Хватит тут чиститься. М? A very interesting story of a jade chick that fell out of the nest and was saved by a dog. It happened in Russia, in the southern city of Krasnodar. It seemed to me that this story is very interesting in how animals of one species relate to other animals of other species, as well as the attitude of people towards animals in trouble. This video shows the kindness, tenderness and care with which they treated this defenseless chick. I received these videos and made a short video and I want to share these positive emotions with you. I am sure that the good of man and his love for animals must always overcome evil. But the most interesting thing in this whole story is that this chick was found by the big dog of the owner of this house, Svetlana. The dog carefully brought this chick in her mouth and placed it in front of her. He fell out of the nest which was on a nearby tree, and Куда since he was weak and could not fly yet, Куда? his parents flew to him every day and fed him with worms and various bugs, so that they would not worry about him. Svetlana put him in a box and covered it so that the cat would not do anything to him. In the box, he was safe, protected from all sides, and shouted loudly, giving signals to his parents. But when they flew to him, Svetlana let him out of the box onto the grass and made sure that the cat did not attack him. His parents saw that their chick was alive, that he was jumping in the yard. But they themselves were afraid to fly to him when they saw Svetlana in the yard, and they were sitting in the distance either on wires or on the roof of her house. But when Svetlana was hiding and she was not visible next to the chick, his mother Jay quickly descended and brought him a worm or a bug, fed him and just as quickly flew away. And just watched him from afar. Svetlana named this chick Hamlet. And so in part two, you will find out what happened to Hamlet. Svetlana fed him liver, carrots, porridge, apples, eggs, cottage cheese and bread, in short, he ate everything, and grew and grew stronger very quickly. At first, he only jumped on the shelves, and inside the house, because he could not fly. But after a few weeks, he began to fly around the house little by little. For some reason, this chick became very attached to this dog and constantly rode it and was not at all afraid of it. But the cat always wanted to catch this chick and hunted for him. But Svetlana constantly drove her away when she tried to get closer to the chick. Svetlana named the chick Hamlet and after some time he began to react to his new name when she called him. This chick lived in her house for more than a month. And Svetlana took care of him with love and tenderness. She fed this chick and when he grew up, got stronger and was able to fly on his own, he began to fly away somewhere. At first, he was absent for a day. Probably Hamlet flew to his parents, then Hamlet was gone for several days. She already thought that he had flown away forever. But one fine morning he returned and it was an indescribable joy for her because the bird flew to her again. She got used to him and he seemed to become a member of her family. All the time, Hamlet returned back to the house and shouted loudly when he flew in so that Svetlana would hear that he had flown in and opened the door for him. Hamlet got used to Svetlana and this big dog, who found him and, one might say, saved him from death if he fell into the clutches of cats. He quickly got used to it and was not at all afraid of them. But when he became quite an adult, he was already well strengthened and flew well. At one fine moment he flew away. Svetlana said that after some time two jays flew to her, sat on the edge of the house and shouted. Probably it was Hamlet who flew in, but with his girlfriend. Then they flew away and he never came back.
Трогай его, ланцуй, да. Если, если ты сейчас... Смотри, 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 смотри